guys, it's Miami, and I want to thank you guys for returning, pressing play, sharing all the videos. I really appreciate it so far. So the main thing that HIV does, it attacks your immune system. It solely goes after those cells, and we all need immune system fighters. We cannot get another immune system, period. I know we can get transplants for hearts, transplants for livers, for kidneys, for brains, for all of these things. So it's very important that we just take care of our immune system, make sure we check up on it because we only get one, okay? So I wanna make sure I, I explain to you guys that, first of all, HIV and AIDS does not kill you. It doesn't go in and start shooting up your body or nothing like that no <laughs> it simply goes straight for your uh immune system killers now cd4 cells and t cells are your immune system white blood cells that goes out in your body and attacks everything that's not supposed to be in there as soon as it sees anything that is foreign, like a bacteria or just anything that's not normal and healthy, it's supposed to go out, kill it, destroy it, and keep sweeping your body. You know, if it sees anything, it keeps sweeping your body. While the immune system is going out and cleaning out your body, making sure these things are, are, are not um, staying there, HIV comes in and attacks those killers. So it goes inside, it attacks our immune system cells, our CD4, our T cells. It goes inside, it does all these crazy things, which that's another video. There's so many steps that it do. Um, comes apart, get back up, connect with our DNA, come back out and start just spitting out and re um, reproducing new HIV particles to go and get another one, to get another uh, immune system fire at CD4 town. HIV patients uh, immune system is supposed to stay at a certain level right where you won't you will be able to still fight off all type of stuff now when it gets to the point when those things those infections start coming in that means your immune system is like getting lower which means your numbers are going lower which means those infections are coming in and your immune system is not functioning right so as soon as your immune system stops functioning right to be able to fight off things you're automatically considered AIDS um, in AIDS, in the AIDS stage or AIDS patient. Now, everybody with HIV does not go all the time straight to AIDS. You know, everybody interior body is just different. Some people can get to AIDS probably quicker than others. Some may take years and years and years. It just all depends. That's why it's so important to know first to know um, your status. That's number one. But second, to make sure as soon as you find out that you go straight to the doctors.